It was minus 10 last night. And boy, that shirt tightened up the colonies again. We just need to kick this these cold, cold nights. It's not helping with the expansion of the nest. And it almost seems like the colonies have taken a step backwards. Where they certainly haven't advanced forwards. And what I think I'm seeing is when we set the colonies out, we had that first brood frame and a half emerge before it must have been, you know, around that April 1st. So what's that? If you counted like beekeepers, but it, let's say three to 4,000 bees. Then we had another frame to two frames of brood following that before the cold, this last cold spell. So another 6,000 maybe, 5,000, 6,000. So we're looking at somewhere around the six to 9,000 bees that are freshly emerged in this nest before that last cold spell. I am pretty certain that that last cold spell pretty much finished off all those old winter bees. So all we're maintaining is this switched over springtime nest, which is maintaining a brood, which is, in, which is very nicely holding its integrity and maintaining a little brood nest. So I hope that as this weather approaches and this next round of brood emerges, which is anywhere between uh, two to four big ones or have five frames of brood in there. As the warmth approaches, as that brood emerges, I hope we are able to, we're going to see this expansion, this growth, which we're going to have to chase with boxes. But with this warmth, I hope that that expansion can maintain itself and the bees can actively maintain a decent nest and advance instead of just focusing on struggling to maintain what's going on. So I'm really frustrated with the weather and you can probably tell my tone this last little while but I'm also satisfied like this weather is really pulling out the weak ones the problem hives we're getting rid of them we're identifying the smaller ones that maybe need requeening there's some of them but for the most part the apiary is holding its integrity. I was kind of maybe scared I oversold some of my nukes Maybe I have, I'm not through all the hives yet, but from what I'm seeing, the assessments are telling me otherwise we're, we're good and we're gonna be in surplus. So just gotta carry that momentum, just move forward. And patience is the order of the day and just get through this and then just enjoy the overwhelmed feeling of workload when it finally hits us. But for today, even though the sun's out, we're going to have flight in some of the yards. I'm, just, I'm going to focus on that. Get those sugars out so they can access it and give her shit. There's that familiar sound of field work being done. That sounds good. We're not quite going yet, but I think, well, he might actually be going. We are close. And another very familiar sound. bees in the air. Just going to tip back a few colonies because I can't help myself. One, two, that's practically seven to eight. Ooh, that one's not even marked as a blue. Okay, I'm going to just upgrade that one. that one too. Mm hmm So that was positive. Do 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 what do we have here? This one is well that's a blue tag. Let's see if it's maintained itself. Ah come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Well, now they're all coming out, so that's the box. Box of bees, which we have beside it. 
Ah, I need to have two of me. For five frames. It's about nine degrees right now, so the clusters should be loosening up a little bit. This guy's off center a bit, but that's a good six. All right, all right, a little bit of weight in there too. That's good. Uh, one more, two more. Just getting a feel here. Holy, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven to eight or, or so. That one isn't marked as a blue tag either. Oh boy. Hmm. Uh, one more. Holy shit. Box of bees. No doubt about that. And that wasn't marked as a blue. What is going on here? Boy. You know what I think is going on? We are going through a hatch. These colonies are advancing. Holy smokes. Rock and roll. A solid six. That one is marked as a medium. Okay, here's a blue. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I need my hive tool. What's a beekeeper without a hive tool? Box of bees. <whistles> All right. Yeah, that's what I want to see. All right, that is good. We are taking a step forward. That's what I'm seeing there. No doubt about that. That brood's emerging. And it's kind of like that one to three ratio. You know, and take three times the space as it did in the brood frame. And it actually is a beautiful day. It's nine degrees according to the truck. And they're just taking over the box. So I'm gonna get this feed out. We have to get some equipment prepared and we have to make sure we promote the strength on those big ones before they decide Oh, you know what? This is too tight. I'll go to the trees. So we better get them before they even start thinking about that. And on the anticipation of the warmth coming up, starting Tuesday, Wednesday, we are going out to the boxes. We're going to have to tip every colony back just to give a secondary assessment because this advance, these colonies advanced. And we want to be able to pr promote that advancement. And that's a really good sign. I thought last week, well, through the cold, it's tough. I think they're just kind of tightening up and decreasing. But with this brood that emerges, the, mer the brood emerges and boom, colony condition can change within a day just by the emergence of that brood hatch. And that's probably what I'm seeing. Let me tip back one more. One more, one more. There's no 
tag on this one. This is a medium. All right, that's a solid one, two, three, four, five, six. Working on seven. Oh, there's integrity in these nests. Does that ever feel good? Practically a box of bees. Let's call that an eight. Eight to nine. Holy smokes, time to get busy.